This is Summer Moon Utah Wells from Rogersville, Tennessee. She's been missing since June 15th. She's three feet tall, blonde, blue eyes, 40 pounds, and she's age five. You can see her here running around with no shoes. And the last time she was seen, she may not have had shoes. She had on gray pants and a pink shirt. Her brother said she just walked out the door. And I'm hoping, based on everything that I've seen so far, that maybe this little girl is just the type of little girl who takes off and she goes running around and then she comes back. It's so hard to have hope when these babies are gone more than 24 hours, but there have been cases where they've been able to come back. Lately, we've had our share of horrific cases where the caregivers didn't do the things that they were supposed to do. And in this case, you're gonna hear about criminal records of her dad, allegations against her mom. And I will say, uh, they weren't growing up in the best of environments. And I'm gonna show you some photographs so that you're having different images of Summer. Her hair is sometimes very, very short. It may be very, very short right now. We all don't have, you know, these wonderful childhoods. And sometimes kids are growing up in environments that look like this, right? So that's, that's hard to accept, I know. But if you're watching this, I'm just asking you to pray for her. Pray for the people who are out in this terrain, who are searching for her, that they find her and that they're able to bring her back here. It's gonna be easy to cast judgment on all of the people involved and to let our minds wander to they did something to her. And my mind has wandered there already. Looking at these photos, looking at this little girl has been really difficult. And I'm just hoping, you know, maybe she's just smart enough that she just ran out there and she wanted to go play in the woods and she's just, she's gonna be found and she's gonna be brought home. I'm gonna play the press conference here in just a second for you guys. I'd climb every mountain Why did you the one? Swim every ocean I'd climb every mountain Why did you the one? Swim every ocean Good afternoon. I'm Leslie Earhart with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. We had hoped to have good news to share with you by now, but unfortunately, we do not. The search for five-year-old Summer Wells remains ongoing. Today, teams continue to search the area around Ben Hill Road, and officers and agents continue to follow up on any leads that come in. Many have asked how they can assist with the search. At this time, we are not asking for volunteers to assist. What we are asking is for residents to continue to share photos of Summer and information from credible sources. We know you have a lot of questions about the search area and the process. For that reason, Sheriff Lawson has arranged for, for Captain Tim Coop to elaborate on those efforts. He's with the Churchill Rescue Squad and is serving as the incident commander of ground search operations. Tim. Thank you, Leslie. As long as elaborated, I wish we could have better news than we do now. Uh, from notification of Miss Summer going missing, we have implemented several methods of search and rescue with most of these that we continue to do. We've utilized ground crews of 80 to 100 people of trained professionals, aerial aviation search, both visual and FLIR, medical THB and TBI assisting us with fixed wing, multiple drones, and four different canine units. Uh, the day that she went missing, we searched from the time of notification until dark. We searched all day yesterday resume this morning, continue on throughout the rest of our operational period, utilizing multiple ground crews, drones, fixed wing, and also helicopter with canines on standby. Some of the issues we're encountering with this search is the steep and dangerous terrain. With this steep and dangerous terrain, we're also experiencing, as you see behind us, very dense canopy coverage, including very dense ground cover causing search efforts to become very difficult, taking extra time to cover these areas adequately, exhausting teams a lot quicker, in turn causing longer for these grounds to be covered. 
allowing those teams for, re for recovery and rehab. We have currently covered at this time at one mile from the residents the last seen by ground and dog. Hopefully by the end of the day, we will have covered two ground miles. Assisting with THP, expanding theirs to, to a minimum of four miles aerial aviation searching. As she stated, residents of this area, everybody continues to ask, well, she wandered off, why did somebody not see her? This part of the community, the residents are very spread out. Some being from one hilltop to the other hilltop, or at the start of a road, and you may go a mile back before you ever get to another residence. So making that very difficult for residents just to be able to be at home while outside working or something and not notice her leaving that area. Uh, as we continue, we will, we will continually assist Hawkins County Sheriff's Department, TBI, and FBI with this search as long as they deem necessary. And as Leslie stated, at this time, we are not asking for any public and or volunteers to assist in the search. A lot of people wonder why. Due to the extreme terrain, the nature of this, trying to locate her, trained professionals is what we need at this time to make sure that these residents don't become endangered and turn around and, and, and expand this issue with having to search for somebody else. Thank you. As we've stated before, the circumstances surrounding Summer's disappearance remain unclear. So if we do develop information that she was taken and we develop a suspect and a vehicle description, of course, we will share that with the public immediately. At this time, that's just not the case. So we'll take a couple of questions um, and I'll offer Sheriff Lawson an opportunity to say anything if he, if he wants to. What, what time was she last seen and who reported her missing? Her parents reported her missing. It was right around 6 30 p.m. But when was she, did, did they say when she was last seen? I know that she was reported missing around that time. Was she last seen earlier in the afternoon or in the day? That time is varied because they were searching for their child, herself. I have a question for Captain. Um, just wanted to see, are you asking for assistance from other agencies? I know yesterday you all mentioned 19 agencies helping out with the quick turnover and personnel, it sounds like, that are searching. Are you all looking for other agencies in surrounding counties to help? And what is the hours that you all are searching? Yeah, so hours of operation this time are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We have, like, like Leslie stated yesterday, we have utilized at this time 19 different agencies throughout the state of Tennessee. We also have multiple agencies outside of our jurisdiction in, in burning states and also expanding to Middle Tennessee to having these teams on standby. Um, you, you talked about getting uh, tips. Can you give me an idea of the magnitude of the tips that you've gotten so far? And with the amount of time that's passed, is there concern you know, that it's less likely to find the longer? Of course, the longer this goes, the more concerned we get. At this stage, we've received nearly 50 leads. None have panned out so far. Good. Yes, approximately 50 at this point. Who, who does Summer live with, and is there any history with this family with law enforcement or anything that you're aware of? Sure. Summer lived with her parents and three siblings. Are these her biological parents? Mother and father? Yes, ma'am. Is there any history of your office going to their home? One second. Sorry. Is there any history of your office going to their home or anyone in the home? Is there any criminal history with any members? My father has some, some, a criminal history. Can you elaborate on that? I don't have it with me. Is any of the family person of interest? Everybody's a person of interest till we find Summer. The most important thing is, is find Summer. That's what it's all about. That's why we're doing the ground searches, the aerial searches, and finding her is first and foremost. Are you concerned that this could be an abduction at this point after so much time has passed? Everything's on the table. I mean, we're, we're looking at everything, crossing every T, dotting every I, and turning every stone. That's why we have two different operations. Captain's operation is, is search and, and rescue. And law enforcement's operation is to look into this incident and find Summer. Is the father's criminal record irrelevant in this investigation? No, sir. No. I've also heard there's been speculation of the siblings in the household. Just wasn't sure if you're able to elaborate on the siblings at all. 
They have th they have three others besides Summer. Older, younger, older, sisters? older. Mm -hmm. One more question, guys. Anybody have another question? Okay. I had a question. Uh, we've heard about issues with communications between search teams regarding uh, lack of cell coverage as well as the radios. Could you elaborate on that? What those issues have been and how they uh, impacted the search? Well. Captain, he can relate to that as far as law enforcement. We can't hardly communicate at all on our radios and cell phones are out of the question, but uh, thanks to at and Verizon, he can tell you about that. They've been a big help to us. Go ahead. Elaborate on that real quick. at and and Verizon both have bought uh, cell phone uh, service boosters to our command post to help try to utilize cell phone coverage, which is still very spotty uh, for most of the area. Uh, radio communication between ground crews and also aerial aviation has been very difficult due, due to the state that our radio systems in at this time. For ground crew operations, we're having to utilize anywhere from four to six different radio channels to make sure we have the coverage where everybody's accounted for. So real quick, when you said that the search area you covered was about a mile, did you mean a square mile or a radius around the residence? That, that is going to be a radius from around the residence from the last point of her, their, her household. Thanks everybody for being here. Just to, just to clarify, ground search efforts end around eight o'clock. However, if we do receive any phone calls um, giving us a, a credible lead, we do follow up on those leads throughout the night. Thanks for being here. Any updates will be posted on our Twitter feed and we'll update you again as soon as we have something available. Thank you.